today our topic is jobs before learning this video please learn the previous parts of this video today our topic is traversals of a graph in computer science graph traversals also known as graph search refers to the process of visiting that is checking and updating or checking or updating each vertex in a graph such traversals are classified by the order in which vertices are visited so today we will learn traversals of a graph to solve problem on graphs we need a mechanism for traversing the graphs graph traversal algorithms are also known as graph search algorithm a graph can be traversed in two ways first is bfs that is breadth first search second is dfs that is depth first search first depth first search that is dfs dfs uses stack the logic behind that is during execution of this algorithm each node n of graph g will be in one of the three states called status of n first status 1 that is ready state second status 2 that is waiting state and third status 3 that is proceed state initially push null onto the stack and when null will be popped then we can say that our stack is empty now i want to traverse this graph by dfs fashion so i can start from any node here i starts from v1 so v1 is the starting node now see when all the nodes are in the graph then the status is 1 that is ready state when i push any node into the stack then status is 2 that is waiting state and when i pop this node from the stack then the status is 3 that is proceed state now i can only push when the status is 1 but i can't push when it is 2 or 3 now i start so what is the status of v1 it is 1 i insert v1 into the stack status is 2 when i pop v1 from the stack status is 3 now see the connected node with v1 it is v3 v2 and v5 all have status 1 so i can push you can push in any sequence means first v3 first then v2 then v5 you can push also in this sequence first v2 then v3 then v5 or first v5 then v3 then v2 you can push in any sequence okay so push these nodes because all have status 1 now it's time to pop pop v5 and print v5 now check the connected node of v5 connected nodes of v5 are v1 and v6 v1 already in status 3 so i can't push another node is v6 it is in status 1 so i can push v6 into the stack now it's time to pop so when i pop v6 and print v6 check the status status of the connected nodes connected nodes of v6 are v2 v5 and v7 v2 is in status 2 v5 is in status 3 only status 1 v7 is in status 1 so status 1 is for v7 so we can push v7 into the stack so push v7 here now it's time to pop pop v7 make status 3 and check the connected node of v7 connected nodes of v7 are v6 and v8 v6 already in status 3 so another node is v8 its status is 1 so i can push v8 into the stack now it's time to pop pop v8 make status 3 and check the connected nodes of v8 it is v3 v7 and v4 v3 is in status 2 v7 is in status 3 only remaining node v4 is in status 1 so push v4 now it's time to pop 
pop V4 and print V4 and check the connected nodes of V4. It is V3 and V8. V3 is in status 2 and V8 is in status 3. So, no node to be pushed. Then pop V2 and print V2. Check connected nodes of V2. It is V1 and V6. V1 is in status 3. V6 also in status 3. So, node node to be pushed. Then pop V3. Print, print V3 and check the connected nodes of V3. It is V1, V8 and V4 all are in status 3. So, this is the result of DFS traversal. And when null will be popped, then our stack is empty. So, this is the result of DFS traversal. So, what is the algorithm for DFS traversal? First, initialize all the node of the graph to status 1. Push the starting node in the stack and make it status 2. Repeat steps 4 and 5 until the stack becomes empty. So, what are those steps? First, pop the top node and print it and make it status 3. Push all the neighbor nodes of the deleted node whose status is 1 and make the status 2. And finally, exit. Next, breadth first search that is BFS. BFS uses Q. In case of DFS, DFS uses stack and BFS uses Q. The logic behind that is during execution of algorithms, each node in of graph will be in one of the three states called status of in. First, status 1 that is steady state. Then status 2 that is waiting state and third status 3 that is proceed state. BFS uses Q. So this is our Q. This is the rear end that is the inserting end. This is front end that is the deleting end and this is our graph. I want to traverse this graph by BFS fashion. Now see when all nodes are in the graph then the status is 1 that is steady state. When I insert those nodes into the queue, then status is 2, that is waiting state. And when I delete or remove the nodes from the queue, then status is 3, that is proceed state. We only can insert any node into the queue when the status is 1. When it is 2 or 3, we can't insert. Now, see how traversal works. You can start from any node. Here, I am starting with the node V2. So, what is the status of V2? It is 1. When I am inserting V2 into the queue, the status become 2 here. And when I am removing this node, the status is 3. Now, see the connected nodes with V2. It is V1, V4, V3 and V6. All have status 1. So, we can insert into the queue. You can insert in any sequence. Say, I am inserting like this. First say B1. Then say B4. Then say V3. And then V6. Now it's time to remove. First remove V1. See the connected node of V1. It is V2, V5 and V6. V2 and V6. V2 is in status 3. V6 is in status 2, only node V5 is in status 1. So, I insert V5 here in the queue. Then remove V4, see the connected node. It is V2 and V3, V2 is in status 3, V3 is in status 2. So, no node to be inserted. Then V3, remove V3. See the status of the connected nodes. It is V2, V1 and V4. V2, V1, V4 all have status 3. Then remove V6. See the connected nodes. It is V1 and V2. V1, V2 all have status 3. Then remove V5. See the connected nodes. It is only V1. It is in status 3. So, this is the result for BFS traversal. So, what is the algorithm of BFS traversal? First, 
first initialize all the nodes of the graph to status 1. Insert the starting node in the queue and make it status 2. Repeat steps 4 and 5 until the queue becomes empty. So step 4 is delete the front node and make it status 3. And then step 5 is insert all the neighbors of the deleted node in the graph whose status is 1 and make the status 2. And finally exit. So why it is called breadth first search that is BFS and depth first search that is DFS. So see in this example this is one tree. What happened if we traverse this tree in DFS fashion and BFS fashion. First say I want to traverse this tree in DFS fashion. In case of DFS traversal I required one stack. So this is our stack. Now I start traversing from the root. First you have to push A into the stack. When I pop A, check the connected node with A. It is B and C. Both have status 1. So push B and C. When I pop C and print C, check the connected nodes with C. It is A, A and G. A has status 3. So A and G both have status 1. Push A and G into the stack. Now pop G, print G, check connected nodes, nodes with G. It is only C. C is in status 3. So no need to push any node. Next pop F, print F, check connected nodes with F. It is only C. C is in status 3. So no need to push any node. Now pop B, print B, check connected nodes with B. It is A, D and C. A already in status 3. So only nodes with status 1 are D and E. So D and E, push D and E, pop E, print E, check connected nodes with E. It is only B. B is in status 3. So no need to push any node. Then pop D, print D, check connected nodes with D. It is only B. B is in status 3. So our DFS traversal result is this. Now BFS traversal. In case of BFS traversal, we need one queue. This is our queue. This is rear end, that is the inserting end, and this is front end, that is the deleting end. So start traversing from the root. First insert A, then remove A from the queue. See the connected nodes with A, it is B and C. So insert B and C. Remove B, see the connected nodes with B. It is A, D and E. A, status of A is 3. So we have to insert only D and E. Both have status 1. Insert D and E. Then remove C. See the connected nodes with C. It is A, A, F and G. A already in status 3. So we can insert only A, F and G. Insert A, F and G. Now remove G. See the connected nodes with G. It is only B. B is in status 3. Remove E. See the connected nodes with E. It is only B. B is in status 3. Remove F. See the connected nodes with F. It is only C. C is in status 3. Then remove G. See the connected nodes with G. It is only C. C is in status 3. So the our BFS traversal result is this. Now I am comparing both the results. See, in case of DFS, the result is A, C, G, F, B, E, D. So traverse this into a structure by visiting children nodes before visiting sibling or neighbor nodes. First visit A, then its children C, then its children G before visiting the neighbor node. Before visiting B, you have to visit after C, it is D. So this is DFS traversal. So 
you have to visit in this way a c g f d e g now see in case of b f s what is the result it is a b c d e f g that is traverse brought into a structure by visiting sibling or neighbor nodes before visiting children nodes so first visit sibling or neighbor node then visit children nodes so first a then b c then d e f g in this way that's why this traversal is called breadth first search and this traversal is called depth first search so differences between bfs and dfs bfs stands for breadth first search and dfs stands for depth first search bfs uses a queue to keep track of next location to visit and dfs uses a stack to keep track of next location to visit bfs is better when target is closer to source and dfs is better when target is far from source bfs is slower than dfs dfs is faster than bfs bfs implemented using c4 list because it follows queue and dfs implemented using li4 list because it follows stack bfs traverses according to tree level and dfs traverses according to tree depth bfs requires more memory as compared to dfs dfs requires less memory as compared to bfs so the time complexity of bfs and dfs when adjacent list is used then complexity of bfs is order of v plus e where v stands for vertices and e stands for edges but when adjacent matrix is used there are n number of rows for each n number of rows there are n number of columns so it is order of n square here vertices numbers are v so it is order of v square same for dfs also time complexity of dfs when adjacent list is used it is order of v plus c and when adjacent matrix is used it is order of v square where v and e stands for vertices and edges respectively so this is your homework try to answer this question in the comment section pause this video try to answer this question in the comment section I am waiting for your replies. For getting more and more updates, please please like, share and subscribe my channel. That's all for today. Thank you.